Long lines continue to be a problem at Orlando's immigration office as people camp out for days waiting to speak with an immigration officer. Local lawmakers tell us they're working to get results to help clear the backlog. And now we're asking if the Biden administration will step in. News 6's Mark Lehman is following the latest. The backlog continuing today at the U.S. Immigration Office here in Orlando. As everyone has been waiting for some kind of solution, we got a chance to speak with a legal expert about the situation and what's next. Unfortunately, there is a chance that we may not be able to see everyone who reports to this location daily. The long lines once again a problem as dozens are waiting to be seen by immigration officers. Orlando's ICE office even getting off to a delayed start before taking the first cases of the day. I don't believe there's any cure in sight, quite honestly. Mark Arias is an immigration attorney in Orange County and says the backlog is a problem that began with a lack of organization from DHS. They would schedule someone to come back in six months or in a year. I don't think they really took into consideration the date they were giving out. And with dozens forced to wait for hours, even days in some cases, he says there needs to be action on the federal level. If the Biden administration were to come in and say, hey, look, this is the exact guidance I want every office to have. And there's no wiggle room. Um, that might be, at least for the moment, the efficient way of handling it. The U.S. Immigrations and Customs Enforcement Agency saying it's working to address the processing delays. Meanwhile, Aria says the situation highlights the importance for some to seek out legal advice. Because of the inconsistency um, right now, if you're going through an immigration process, you, you really do need a lawyer to help you guide it. In Orlando, Mark Lehman, Getting Results, News 6.